welcome back to my channel today. Hi, my name is Jessie and today we're going to go ahead and do a very fun video. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how I organize myself from being a wife, a mom, a YouTuber, and just with my everyday uh, stuff that I do have to do. So I get questions all the time. Like I don't have nannies. I don't have uh, just people to help me. So I needed to figure out a way of how I could stay organized, be productive, and also be the best mom and wife I could possibly be. So I came up with this way of how I could organize myself to make sure I still have the business running. I still have the online store as well as still being uh, a full-time mom and a full-time wife and also an accountant and everything else for the household. So I'm going to go ahead and give you my tips and tricks on how I stay organized. And if you guys are not a mom or or have the wife duties or have a household to take care of, this is also good if you guys are in college or in high school because once you guys start getting older, you guys do have a, a little bit more responsibility so you guys are able to stay organized and just go from there. So just take the little tips that would apply to your house or to your life and then go from there. I do have several planners that I stay organized, which it looks... <laughs> Let's see if we can keep it together. Whoa. This is what keeps my life and my my stress level down when I write everything down and I'm able to sleep at night making sure I don't have all these things uh, uh, that I have to do. This is one of the planners I used to use for my on the go. This is the one I use for my everyday take with me plan your life one. And then this is what I use for all my YouTube, all my meetings, my office basically has all the months and it tells me all the contracts or emails or uh, companies I have to reach out to or whatnot and any like YouTube ideas. So this is more for my business. And then these are the little knickknacks I'm going to go ahead and show you of what I use to make it all cute and fancy. And then this is what I use for the household, basically any bills uh, for the house. Um, anything that has to do with our house and goals and savings and all that stuff would apply here. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you an in-depth uh, on how and uh, how I organize. And it basically has categories. I'll show you where I got everything and basically would we'll just show you how I was, I'm able to balance all three things or four or five depends what I'm doing. So I'll go ahead and show you if you guys are new mommies or new wives, there's like different things that apply to being a wife or if you guys just bought a house or are trying to buy a house or just things in general that would just apply on things that you would just have to get organized especially. I figured this would be perfect for the new year, especially just get your life together, get it organized. If you guys are not a planner or if you guys don't like to organize, there's also tips where if you guys are able to um, just write everything down, it just makes it a little bit easier so you're not constantly thinking about them throughout the day, so it's just one less thing. I like to make lists, that's what keeps me organized. And I found this cute affordable planner. Um, I do have experience with different planners. I try the Erin Conrad, I try the Happy Life, I try the Philofax, I tried the, the Webster's Pages. This is a traveler notebook. So I have tried several brands. So I have a little bit more of an experience when it comes to that because I wanted to see every year I try a different brand just to have an idea of which one suits my life. As my if, as I get older, I have different responsibilities and different goals that I want to meet. So I base on a planner on what is my needs. Like I said, if you guys don't have this much responsibility or if you guys don't have all this other stuff, then you could go ahead and definitely apply this. This would even be cute if you guys are in high school or in college just to get you guys organized through your classes and just stuff you guys want to accomplish. So I'll go ahead and uh, let you guys know what I have in there. And before I continue, don't forget to subscribe down below I'll to let you guys know when the new videos are coming up to stay up to date with all my DIY and planner videos. And if you guys haven't followed me on social media, don't forget to do so at jessiedavila1 on Facebook and on Instagram. And I'll see you guys on my next video. But don't forget, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's in my planner. So if you guys want to see what I have inside my planners and how I stay organized, go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. So this is a planner we're going to go over. The way I have it set up, on the left-hand corner, I actually have all the little extra stickers that I like to carry with me, all the little stickers that I would actually use on the go. 
And then in the front, this pink pocket, I actually have all the little stuff like appointments and dentist stickers and stuff like that. And then on this clear plastic, I ended up using notepads and the tabs in case I do have to use them on the go just to make it a little bit more prettier. And then I do like to put life quotes. It just motivates me and it just uh, puts me in a really good mood. And as you can see, I do have little paper clip flags, which I like to separate everything. And as you can see, I did ended up separating everything with tabs. And I'll go ahead and show you which tab means. So I wanted to decorate this planner, just put a lot of motivational stuff since we are starting the year and just keep me going. So right here you can see the 2018 and 2019. And as we flip over, this is supposed to be like for contacts, but I just put everything on my phone. And then this is basically the goals or the very important things I would normally write, the stuff I got to do on the weekends or things that I can't forget to do. And that's kind of where I would put it if it has to do with home or just business in general. And then the way I have it laid out, I actually like to write like any homework that my kids have to be due, any appointments I have to go to, and anything um, that I physically have to do for that particular month. And I write it on the specific day. And as you can see, I ended up putting January, February, March, April, May, and June, just the six months. And then every week, I actually have everything set up. So every specific day, I have stuff to do. So on my to-do list, I have stuff I got to do with the house and everything for the house. I prioritize on the stuff that I have to do every week. So every week I do set up goals and notes for myself because every week is different. And that's how I ended up balancing everything out. And then every day is specific for every task that I got to do. On certain days I do just home stuff and on other days I do work stuff. On the next page, I actually have this pouch, which I really, really love. I actually ordered it on Amazon and I could put anything extra, all the little motivational quotes that I have. And then this, I ended up getting it at Joann's and I figured I could just put a bunch of business receipts there that I need or just receipts in general in case I got to return stuff. And then on this pocket, I ended up using little tabs just to basically separate the list that I got to do. So on this one are just lists in general that I have to do, that I have to um, just remember to do. These are YouTube ideas that I have. So if I'm on the go and I feel like doing a different video, these are things that I need for the office. These are makeup things that I, I want to try. These are shopping things for the house that we need. And these would just be miscellaneous notes if I'm on the go and I'm on the phone call and I got to write notes. The best part about this actually like because on the ends, like, as you can see, it's like little notes that you could rip off and like you could just take with you if you're at the grocery store and I need to bring my grocery list. I could just pull it out from my actual planner, which I love. And then this is from July to December. So if you guys don't want to carry the whole year, this one is just customizable and I love it. And then these are just extra stickers like check marks and just bills I got to do. And I like to keep it on the back part. And as you can see, everything is customizable, which I love. So it would work for everybody. These are the tabs I was actually showing you guys. It comes in a book and they are actually notepads and tabs on one, like little dividers. And then, like I said, they come in different um, colors and I was able to use that on my planner. And then these stickers, which I love, I picked them at the, at the Target, um, dollar spot. I think they were like a dollar three, which I love. These were also from the target dollar spot and there's little notepads. This is a happy planner. This is the one I use for my planners. I love it has a check marks, arrows to do stuff and just cute little quotes. And then the one I got for this one, this is the student edition and I'm showing you all the little um, cool stuff that it has with. It has a lot of like um, educational stuff. So I like to use it for that to get organized. This is a mom edition one. And this one I use for productivity if I have to do appointments or just keep up with my kid's schedule. So I like to do that. I wanted to get one from each section just to have an idea. And then this one has just the general stickers. And I like it because it gives me empty spots and empty tabs that I could just fill in based on my needs. And then this one has really cool invisible um, quotes. And if you guys like these type of videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up and let me know what you guys like to plan or what type of videos you guys would want next. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.